spending the next 100 days in Red Dead Redemption 2. But I created a remastered version of the game with immersive jobs, horses now having a health system, a new and improved bounty system, and a complete texture overhaul from the majority of the map. But I'm not just messing around for the next 100 days. I have two goals that I want to reach. Goal number one, become the best bounty hunter in the country. There are bounty posters scattered around multiple towns throughout the map. My job is simple. Go to those towns, collect the bounties, ultimately turning that state from unsafe to safe. Goal number two, don't die. It's quite simple. Any decision I make needs to be a smart one. Now I can't just start off as the best bounty hunter in the country. I'm gonna have to start somewhere, and my journey will start all the way here. This is the town of Coulter. In the base version of the game, this town is, well, non-existent. But since I've remastered it, it's now a living and breathing area. Now, I'm starting with just a lasso and a knife, and my goal here on day one is honestly just to get some food. I walked into a house not really expecting anything, and I got pretty lucky and found myself a bow. Oh yeah! I figured, well, why not try hunting now? This should be pretty fun. I first, however, filled up my water canteen, which as you can see, I'll need to focus on water, food, and sleeping throughout my 100 day journey. I started searching for signs of any animals, and let me just say, it was nearly impossible in this snow biome. I spent several in-game hours just trying to see something, anything, a deer, I, I didn't matter what it was, I just wanted to see something. However, just when the sun was about to go down, I saw a wild white horse. Okay guys, I think I see a white horse. Now, if this is, if this is actually a horse here, which I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. Yes, 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 okay. This is huge. This is gonna determine the next 100 days. I mean, this is a huge situation right now. No, why is she running away? Or he, I, I don't know yet. Oh my gosh, this is giant. Come here, horsey! Don't worry! Just come here quick, I just wanted to uh, talk to you! Okay, she, this, this horse is playing hard to get right now. Gosh, this snowstorm's coming in hard. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm be able to get it. Come here! Oh my gosh. Honestly, the storm's getting bad, I might have to turn around. Alright, I have been chasing this thing for at least 20 minutes. This is the moment though. I'm finally been able to calm her down. Or him, I still don't know. Calm down. Come on. It's all right. It's all right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna get on it. No. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Calm down, horse. It's okay. Trust me. Trust me. Oh my gosh. Oh no. My friends, let me introduce to you Susie. Man, she is probably the most beautiful horse I think I've ever found in any of my Red Dead videos. Could we please spam we love Susie? I mean, look at how beautiful she is. I love her. Now, I'm very far away from the town of Coulter, and it's fully nighttime, and I'm gonna need to get back quick before things get out of hand, with potential predators coming out at night. All right. Okay. Now, I'm oh my gosh. No way there's wolves out here right now. All right, all right. Susie, let's get out of here. Let's not deal with these wolves. Come on, come on, girl. All right, here we go, here we go. There's so many of them. Oh, gosh. No, Susie! Um, okay, here we go. It's okay. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Please go away, wolves. Susie, come back, please. Susie! Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh, I think it's... I think it's, it's still staying with this other... The one I killed. There's still one by it. Oh, my goodness. It's still staying by it. I think it's guarding it, honestly. Susie? Oh, there you are. Goodness gracious. I think it left? I'm honestly lucky to still be alive on day one. That was a very close call, running into those wild wolves. I got back to Coulter, I had some wolf meat, and went to bed. Because the next 100 days were going to be very interesting, as my bounty career would soon get started. Alright, let's get some sleep. That was an eventful day one. Well, I have officially made it out of the snowy state of Amberino, and I've officially made it to the beautiful state of New Hanover. My journey in New Hanover will start in a nice little town called Valentine. Now, Amberino had no bounties in that area, so we can already consider that state to be, well, safe. Decided to sell the dead wolf that I hunted for some money. 
because I'm gonna need some money for a good decent gun. I also went to a horse stable and decided to get Susie a saddle so I can store most of my weapons throughout the 100 day journey. And of course I got a horse care package. I wanted to start working at a saloon but Arthur decided that he was very nauseous and needed to sleep. Again, something I'm gonna need to pay attention to over the next 100 days. Guess I need to sleep again. On day three I finally got my first job and it was pretty crazy. I just watched tables. It's not that crazy, but <laughs> it's something. But I got a pretty good payday. I'm not really in it for the money, but you know, I'm gonna need a gun. I got another job where I needed to take a wagon of supplies to a destination. All right, let's do and it. I finally made enough for my first gun. Now that I have a weapon, I can finally start my bounty career. And my first bounty, well, was a man called Sidney Blake. All right, Sidney Blake. A woman was found dead in a hotel seven nights ago. This actually was the hotel that I stayed in as well. Now, Sidney Blake is the known suspect of this murder. Some say he might have killed more people than just her. Well, this should be pretty easy, I hope. I started going on walks looking for clues, and unfortunately, I guess those people that thought he murdered more people were right, because I found a lot more people that were dead. Okay, this is really, f really weird. Oh my goodness. On day eight, I finally got a lead on where this man might be. And boy, this was a bit scary. Okay, so I see the camp up here not too far. I'm a little nervous, but, um, there he is. There he is. Okay, I think we're just we're gonna try to go in stealthy here, and then hopefully he'll just come out, or I can lasso him, and we're not gonna have any issues. But I feel like that's way easier said than done. All right, almost by him. Honestly, I'm, I'm getting a little nervous, ladies and gentlemen. It's our first bounty. All right, here we go. Here we go. There he is. Hello, Sydney. No one sees me yet, no one sees me yet, no one sees me yet. Oh, of course, of course, of course they see me. Okay, just stay calm, stay calm, stay calm. Here we go. Just gonna shoot him from that, shoot him from a distance, shoot him from a distance. Sydney, don't get on the horse! No, 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 no! Okay. Well, there goes the problem. Let's clean up the rest of these guys. And one more. Well, that should do it. Oh my goodness, that should do it, my friends. Well, I got the job done. But my life was nearly lost. I guess it doesn't really matter, however, as this is the path that I've chosen. Well, I might as well loot a little bit while I'm here. Get a bolt action, calm repeater. All right, nice, nice. All right, Sydney, let's get out of here. I here put Sydney in the back and collected my reward, and I was off to collect the final bounty located in the state. All right, off to Ennisburg. On day nine, as I was arriving to the new town of Ennisburg, I found a man screaming for his life. What please, is going please. on here? I can't feel my leg anymore. You have to okay. get the strap off of me, please. All right, all right, all right. I'm I got you. Bleeding out here. Yep, I got you. I don't know why I'm making sound effects for this. Get it loose, sir. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh, you did it. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Phew. You can take whatever you want from my pet. Oh, that's very nice Save of you. Me. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just grab your this and then this. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah. Take some whiskey. <laughs> wow. Well, that was that was crazy. Oh, and Susie needed a little bit of water. Look how beautiful she is. <laughs> Anyways, I finally made it to the town, and remember, my job is not just to take down these bounties and call it a day, I also want to help out these communities that I come across as well. Wow, this is a beautiful town, honestly. So I picked up a mining job for the day. Now, why this isn't in the vanilla version of the game, I don't really know, because I could confidently say I could mine for hours just myself and have a phenomenal time. It really did feel like I was a part of this blue-collar, hard-working group of men for the entire day. Morning, Morning sir. Morning, sir. Wow. You guys on your lunch break? <laughs> I'll be there soon. <laughs> First day on the job, you already know. <laughs> and after a full day of working in the mine, I finally poked my head out of those mines, and I collected my salary. And I got $100, but that doesn't really matter, because this bounty does. Now this individual just happened to be special because he had no picture, and his name was Andrew Canton. Now the locals tell me he escaped from prison after getting caught robbing a local store in their town. All right, Andrew Canton, I guess I'm gonna have to search for you without Just a as I was gonna search for this Andrew, I ran into what I guess you could call an old friend. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out oh. what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Hmm? No Stay. way. Ooh, yes indeed. That is Anything actually really you, cool buddy. that they do and that in the game. Thing. Wow. Well, that was actually very unexpected, and naturally I picked the most expensive thing I could find. 
All right, let's get going now. The now. only thing I know about this Andrew is that he escaped from prison, so he must be wearing some type of prison clothes. And I found someone who matched that description. It's the only guy. It's the only guy I've seen that's wearing prison clothes here. Andrew, stay there! I don't want to kill you. Stop running. Okay. No, nope. don't. Oh. Well, I did not want to do that to you, Andrew, but you left me no choice. Unfortunately, I think he's dead. Now, did I need to kill Andrew? Probably not, but he was wanted dead or alive. So, I picked what was best. What I felt was best. And just like that, we can now turn the state of New Hanover to officially safe. I'm now making my way to the beautiful state of West Elizabeth. I reached the gorgeous town of Strawberry. Now, there is really no work to do for the community here, except catch bounties. And the man we are looking for, his name is Samuel Wall. I want you to look at this cell. This is the cell that he escaped from just a couple of weeks ago. And then I want you to look at this hotel. This is where they found the body of the sheriff that arrested him five days ago. Because Samuel Wall decided to rob a store in the town. Alright, Samuel Wall, looks like you're my next bounty. On day 18, I found a body. Now, I had been searching for a couple of days, so this was my first clue. Yeah. Yeah, this guy is definitely dead, unfortunately. Yikes. On day 20, I thought I found someone who could help me. But it was just somebody that wanted an aiming contest. Alright! I won. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I could find this man until I finally got a lead about a camp near town on day 25. Okay, I have seen this camp. Actually, I just saw it today. Got my lead here, so let's see if I- honestly? Yeah, I think he's in there. I want to do a couple of warning shots, but I need to get closer. Oh gosh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Okay, I'm gonna do a warning shot at him, and hopefully he just kind of comes out with his hands up. I doubt it, but... Come here! Oh gosh, it's over. Alright, we're definitely, we're definitely seen. Let's just clean the rest of this up. I'm not sure where he is, I'm just shooting. I just don't want any of them to run away, because I can't tell... I think that was him. I think that was him that I just shot for the horse, but I have no idea. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. One more guy, one more guy! Yep, that was him over there. I got him. Well, the job was done. I was now off to the newly rising town of Blackwater. Bye, Samuel Wall. On day 30, I reached Blackwater, and again, not much work to do here except capture bounties. That means the man we are looking for is named Anthony Collins. Now, something I didn't tell you before is that the final bounty I have to capture is considered the most wanted man in the entire country and is known for some horrific murders in the St. Denis area. Now, the reason I tell you this is the Anthony Collins man that we're trying to get right now is linked to him as a friend, and they are some sick individuals. Anthony Collins got away with not just one, but two murders in Blackwater, and the goal is pretty simple, to locate this psycho and bring him in. Now, I started to spend more time walking around the town, seeing if I could find any clues at all. And honestly, I got none. And I could feel the tension in the air. People were scared. On day 40, I honestly just went into the woods to see if I could find anything. And that was a very interesting decision. Alright, um... I'm getting a weird feeling about these woods, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if Collins is out here, but if he is, this would be the place to do it. It's pretty isolated. Um... Actually, I think I see a bear. Is that a bear up there? I can't tell. Yeah, that's definitely a bear by what seems to be a pit. What? What is he? Get out of here! What in the world was he by? Oh my goodness. Oh? Yeah, this isn't scary at all. Holy, holy moly. Yeah, no thank you. Okay. I see this base not too far up there. I think Collins might be in there. I'd rather not be seen by them, but I have no idea what's gonna happen here. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna start shooting. Or they're gonna see me. They see me. Here we go. I just want Collins! Get away from me! Oh my god, you freaks! Holy crap. Why is he run- Why is he just walking at me? Okay. No, no, no! 
Come here, Carlos. Ooh. You are freaky. Don't die. Don't die. Come on. Last one up. Let's start shooting all these guys away. There's you. Oh my gosh. I gotta get out of here. This is not it for me. And you are done, my friend. Let's get the heck out of here. Oh my gosh. This is freaky. Wow. Well, Anthony Collins will no longer be a problem. However, his friend is still out there. But in time, he will get there. Well, I hope you enjoy your brand new cell, Anthony Collins. This is your home from now on. I finished my very scary day, honestly, 14. playing blackjack, and well, it was a nice way to end the night. Oh, All right, that's what I do. Woo, real good. <laughs> can I borrow your luck? I can officially say that West Elizabeth is now safe. I was now off to the great state of New Austin. All right, off to New Austin. Day 15, I reached a small dying town called Armadillo. Well, I don't think I'm gonna need this jacket anymore. That's a lot better, my now, friends. I'm not going to be in New Austin for a long time because the bounties that are wanted here, well, they're just people that decided to rob these very unfortunate small towns. Their names were Julius Mattis and Joe Cantel. They were caught robbing towns such as Armadillo and Tumbleweed, both small towns, like I said, with not a lot of money to begin with. So on day 55, I captured Julius Mattis. Julius, come on, man. Let's not make this a big deal. Oh, see, I did not want to do that, Julius. Stop trying to run. Come here. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Julius. You stood no chance, my friend. Come on. You stood no chance. On day 65, I captured Joe Canton. All right, Mr. Canton. I just want Joe Canton. Everybody, leave me alone. Let's go. Come on. Oh, my gosh. There's so many of them. Joe, please don't. Canton, come on. All right, well. This is going to be pretty easy. They're literally just running away from me. You have a simple crime. You're going in. And there you are, Mr. Canton. Enjoy your new house. And would you look at that? The entire state of New Austin is now safe. However, that means my next target is considered the most wanted man in the country. And I finally made it to the great state of Lemoyne on day seven. Well, well, we finally made it here, my friends. Now, I wanted to help with the community a little bit before I turned my attention to the most wanted man in the country. So I decided to take my time and actually get some jobs. Firstly, I got a job at the dock. Okay, this is like a legit 9 to 5 right now. And picked up a job at the bar. And on day 85, I, uh, yeah, I had, I had my fun a little bit. <laughs> if I can't win, no one but can. But it was now time for business. Joe Simmons. The less said about him, the better. But unfortunately, here's what he's done in the city. Two people murdered in an alley. Another outside a shop. Two outside an art museum. Rumor has it these people were offered loans of money that they could not pay off. So Joe Simmon, well, you already know what he did. All right, Joe Simmon, time for me to get you now, you freak. I'll be honest. I couldn't find this man for a while. And then on the last day, well, I just happened to see somebody that matched his description. I'll be honest, I haven't really... I mean, I'm trying to look around everywhere and I cannot find this... Wait a minute. Here we go. This guy looks a lot like Joe Simmon. And no reason for him to be standing there. All right. No, no, Joe. No, Joe. There we go. Well, this is going to be pretty easy. Yeah. Look at that, Joe. You're not so bad after all. <laughs> okay. Let's get out of here. All right. Oh, stop it. Well, Joe... Okay, you have company. All right, now I see why you're a problem. You have friends. No problem. Okay, here we go. He's mine, guys. Get out of here. Holy crap. All right. I would really not like to die on my last day here. Here we go. Joe, you're, you're going in with me whether you like it or not, my friend. I'm sorry. Let's get to the city. All right. They have still followed me into the city somehow. Um, I'm just going to have to take them somewhere because they're not going to stop coming. And Joe is not getting away from me. All right, here we go. All right. Susie, I'm going to need you to leave, girl. Come here, Simon. 
Get out of here, Susie! Alright! This is it. Alright, I'm gonna have to go into a store or something because they're just gonna keep following me. Alright, Simon, you are not leaving my sight, my friends. Um, I think there's a shop over here. Alright. Leave! Leave now! They're coming! They're coming quickly! You do not want to be here when these guys come in. Get out of here! Go! I'm telling you, get out! They're coming! Go! Oh my gosh! No, 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 no! Oh, well, my goodness. Dynamite? Um... I guess I have no choice here. Well, I guess this is it, my friends. I have no choice. Goodbye. I'll try. In the end, I'll be a...